everyone! Today I wanted to share with you guys how I store my doll clothes. This is going to be the first video in a little series all about my doll organization and storage. I was going to make one video covering all of these topics, but I had to keep putting that off because I'm still in the process of rearranging my Barbie vehicles, and I don't know when that's going to happen because I don't have the money right now to buy what I need. But when I do have that and it's all set to go, I will make a video on a tour of all of my doll organization and storage area. But for now, I'm just going to make in-depth videos about each topic. So today, I'm going to be talking about clothes and cloth items. I like to really, really organize my doll stuff. Not everyone is going to want to do it as like thoroughly as me, but I also have a really large collection, so I can't store things too simply or I'd never be able to find anything. So the method that I'm currently using, I've been doing a similar version of for about three years now. And I've slowly tweaked it and what I'm doing now, I'm really happy with and I'm definitely going to continue doing this for a long time unless I can come up with a better idea. The basic way that I store doll clothes, and this applies to all of my dolls, whether they are teeny tiny like Kelly and Little Bratz or they're American Girl sized, I use this technique on all of them. To label and baggie my doll clothes. So the contents of each baggie will either be like all the pieces to a fashion pack or all the pieces that go to a particular doll. And it's all the cloth items, so if it's towels, blankets, socks, clothes themselves, purses that are fabric. Just because I like to store things by like materials because cloth items can compress and flatten out and also they pick up odor more so than like a plastic thing. So that's why I keep all my cloth items together. This is the only time in my collection that you're gonna see that I store things like in baggies by doll. I don't keep like my pieces that way or my shoes that way. I organize those entirely differently. Um, I only do this because I dress my dolls mostly in like whole fashion packs or like whole original outfits or like, you know, in the case of my American Girls, I like them to dress in like entire ensembles. By subdividing these clothes in that manner, I have quick access to the entire outfit. I can see all the duplicated pieces I have, which ones are in the best condition, etc. And not only that, but one of the biggest problems I have always had with storing doll clothes is Velcro. And I'm sure some of you guys can relate to this, whether you're talking about Velcro on Barbie clothes or American Girl or some other type of doll, Velcro ruins everything. Even if you take the time to like properly like close up the Velcro, sometimes it still comes open and it clings to everything. It ruins not only the outfit itself, but anything in its path, especially things with like a sheer material or that are delicate or that are just kind of cheaply made. So that was why I wanted to store things in baggies to prevent that from happening. So if I have one particularly naughty item that likes to grab at things within that small bag, I will actually put that in an even tinier bag within the big Ziploc. Just because that way it's kind of quarantined but it's still like where I want to find it. It's a really tedious process and obviously I have a lot of Ziplocs, but this is um, something that I slowly did. Like I didn't baggy everything overnight. I didn't have all of these clothes when I first started doing this three years ago. I had way less clothes. And obviously I try to reuse these Ziplocs. So say I have like Hawaiian Fun Ken stuff right here. Um, say I got another Hawaiian Fun Ken and I didn't need this bag anymore. I would put this bag in my dollhouse in my craft room so I could reuse it for something else. That being said, if I get like secondhand Ziplocs that like look dirty or aren't, aren't clean, I don't use them um, because in the past I would use dirty Ziplocs and they would make the clothes dirty. So everything that I put in baggies is cleaned before I put them away. That way everything is clean when I go to take it out and it smells good when I put it away. Also, to help with the odor, because I do store my doll things in my basement, I like to put dryer sheets or little like sachets of potpourri in with my doll clothes. Also, dryer sheets have the added bonus of repelling rodents, something I learned from my dad. 
Um, so if you put dryer sheets in with your doll things, any kind of like mouse that comes along won't like the smell of it and will leave it alone. And that's obviously really important depending on where you store your doll clothes. I don't personally have a problem with mice in my basement. So the way that I label my bag, bags are I always include the box date or the release date if there isn't a box date. If it's an original outfit that belongs to a doll, I will write the name of the line and the name of the doll. And for my fashion packs, I will once again put the box date or release date, the name of the fashion pack, and the stock number if I have it. Just because the stock number is like makes it really easy to find pictures of these items online if I need like better reference photos. And I do have like a catalog of all of my fashion packs on my computer. So that way I can see like what pieces go to it in a boxed photo just for quick reference and if I get any additional pieces secondhand. So this is what Hawaiian Fen Ken's label looks like. This is what a fashion pack looks like and you can see there's all kinds of like duplicated pieces in here. So this one right here is for my Ken clothes. So most of what I store my doll clothes in for fashion dolls is these modular drawers. I like drawers. I used to keep my doll clothes in like plastic zipper cases inside containers and actually if you look at my Flickr you'll see some outdated photos of that which I'll be getting rid of. The pros to having the clothes in like little plastic zipper cases or fabric zipper cases um, was that I could push them down and compress the clothes so they could take up less space. But why I stopped doing that is because I had so many clothes that they were just ripping all of the fabric cases because there was too many crammed in one bag and the containers would get really heavy and I would just not be able to like push the clothes down anymore and the containers would start splitting because I just had too many doll clothes. They were literally bursting at the seams. So when I was thinking of a way to like kind of solve that problem, I realized that I really liked drawers because that way I can just like walk into my basement and open up a drawer and put something away. I don't need to like pull a container out, open the container and dig for the bag I need. But if you have a smaller collection of doll clothes, you could do it that way. I really like these modular drawers for several reasons. Um, this one I got at Walmart. Um, I don't believe they carry this size anymore. I think you have to get them online exclusively now. And I think they're 11 or $12 each, which is kind of pricey. And I was hesitant to get into this way of storing dog clothes for that reason, but I'm really glad I did. It's well worth the price. I would rather spend a little extra money and have exactly what I want and even if it takes me longer to rearrange everything. Um, and that's another thing, it took me a long time to totally switch everything over to this method. It took me like, probably like a year and a half to do it the way I wanted to have it done. What's nice about these drawers is these are really, really large and deep. And not only that, I can stack them however I want. You can get them in different sizes. You can get them skinnier or narrower. If you've watched some of my um, behind the scenes videos and dolly transformations, sometimes these drawers will make an appearance because my sister and I will actually take like one unit and bring it upstairs with us to dress our dolls. And that was really important to me was to have portable doll clothes that I could easily take upstairs when I was dressing dolls or wherever I needed to be dressing dolls. But it has the access of a drawer where you can just slide it open and put things in or look for things. And also, if I need to look for something, I can just take this off my stack, dump it on the floor, and look through until I find what I need. And that's the great thing about plastic bags is when I dump them onto the carpet, the clothes aren't getting dirty, it's just the bags. So that's another bonus of keeping things in the Ziplocs. I just feel like it keeps them fresher and safer. For how I dress my dolls, it's easier. And I do mix and match my dolls into random clothes when I feel like it, if they don't have an original outfit or if I just want them to wear something different for display. And it's really easy for me. I can just kind of look through the bags and see what I want and pair things together. It is a very involved method and it might not work for everybody. So I'm going to take you guys to my basement to show you all of the drawers and exactly how I divide things into drawers because that's a question that I've been asked before. So let's go. Welcome to my doll storage room in my basement. I'll give you guys a quick pan around. So this is my old bedroom that I lived in for a few years when my grandmother used to live with her family. So these are all of my modular drawers. 
So I have a ton of them. Like I said, this took me like a year and a half to collect all of these because they were expensive and because, you know, I have a Jeep so I couldn't buy a ton of them in one time. The basic way that I organize my doll clothes is I first subdivide them by type of doll. So obviously like Bratz are separate from Barbie, which were separate from Disney. And then I subdivide my Bratz dolls by character. Like this is for assorted Bratz dolls and fashion packs. The next one is for Jade, Sasha, and Megan. This one right here is for Chloe and Yaz. And the one on the bottom is for Bratz boys. I actually just got that not long ago. So then for Barbie, I, I split her affiliated family members separately. So we have a drawer for Ken, a drawer for Skipper, and I also have a drawer for Disney and like animated characters. Barbie herself was a nightmare to organize. I have so many clothes. A long time ago, I used to just divide my clothes by decade. So, you know, 2000s Barbie, 80s Barbie, 70s Barbie, 90s Barbie, you get the idea. But that stopped working. So these are all just my 90s fashion packs. They are literally <laughs> devouring this drawer. So what I did is for the decades where I had a lot of clothes, I split up fashion packs from original outfits and I also keep like any fabric items that go to play sets like blankets and stuff in with the fashion packs. 2000s Barbie split up the same way and then I have a drawer for everything 60s and 70s because I don't have much like you can see this drawer has a lot of growing room and then for 80s Barbie I split it up by fashion packs and original outfits which this drawer is pretty pretty empty but I have so many fashion packs that I needed to make a little bit of room and you can see here that I have labels. These are just pieces of paper that I cut and wrote with Sharpie on. And then I just tape them to like the inside so they're easy to pull off. And the reason why I keep these stickers on here is so I know exactly what I was using. And then if I take out a fashion from a Ziploc and it's empty, I will save it. So I have little labels here, everything brats. This is for Barbie's family and Disney and these are the empty Barbie baggies. If it's a bag that I don't think I'm going to put the outfit back in, I will just use it for something else and put a new label on it. And also Barbie's friends are just thrown in with Barbie because, you know, they wear each other's clothes. And then I have these drawers, which these are all things that I've had since I was a kid. My mom bought me and my sister these a long time ago and most of what's in here are clothes. So I have like one for Moxie Girls, one for my like celebrity and miscellaneous dolls. This is all for Kim Cora clothes, Mary Kate and Ashley, Kelly and Chrissy. Then I have little jewelry bags with outfits. Stacy, Bratz Babies, and little Bratz again. They have like different sized jewelry bags. Bratzillas, Strawberry Shortcake, Monster High, Liv and Bratz Kids. So you're probably noticing that some of the drawers are fuller and some of the drawers seem half empty. And I do that intentionally so that I have plenty of growing room. So when I bought more of these drawers from Walmart's website, I could only get them in like a bulk of three. So I thought I'd just give things that I would eventually need more room for extra room. I figure it's better to have more room than to try to cram too many things into a, a too small space and, you know, lose things or break the drawer. You're probably wondering, well, what about your American Girl clothes? Well, I do something a little bit different for my American Girls. Um, I wouldn't mind storing them in these plastic drawers, but we have several dressers down here that were me and my sisters when we were kids. I don't have dressers in my room. I keep American Girl clothes in there and my sister's childhood bedroom set is also down here. So I just figured I would reuse what we already had and there's a bonus of I can put little drawers on top of them. So, so this is my sister's old bureau and you can see there's like their accessories on top. So in here, I keep the American Girl things and I have them broken up by character. So this is Caroline's drawer. This is a really skinny drawer. They didn't make much for her. Then this is Josephina's drawer, Kirsten's drawer, Kit's drawer, and these are all of my Girl of the Year clothes. I do have dryer sheets in each bag so they smell nice and fresh. Then this really full drawer is all Bitty Baby stuff. This is all Girl of Today, Truly Me stuff. And then I keep the best friends with their 
with each other. So this is Molly and Emily's drawer. Kia, Kaya's drawer. I know I say a lot of names wrong. I'm aware, I just like to say them wrong. And then we have Elizabeth and Felicity's. Addie's drawer. This is all Samantha and Nellie's stuff. And you'll see I have like hats in the bags too. And then of course, Julie and Ivy's. So in my sister's bedroom down in the basement, this is where she used to live for a few years. We have our childhood wardrobes. These were um, gifts from my aunt. They're matching, this one's mine, that one's Colleen's. And we used to be able to keep all of our American Girl clothes in these, but obviously we have way too many. So I honestly am not a huge fan of keeping clothes in here because they don't keep the clothes smelling as fresh, but basically any item that's like just a dress or a coat that doesn't really come with anything else or just like a single hair ribbon, I'll hang. So these are organized in chronological order. This is where we keep Felicity all the way up to Samantha and Nellie's clothes. And then this one starts with Kit and ends with um, Julie and Ivy and it also is where I keep my like bitty baby and girl of today clothes. And um, in these drawers we just keep extra hangers. So I hope that video helped you guys out. Again, this is just the way that I store doll clothes. It works for me and what I need. But if anything, I hope this just gave you an idea of how I store so many doll clothes and maybe you got some ideas for how to store your doll clothes. However you store your clothes, I would just recommend making sure that they are clean and safe from any sort of environmental elements or from any kind of like bugs and pets. So until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.